If you want to learn how to sell your products with a Facebook shop in 2020 and do it natively with no third-party tools, you better stick around. All right, guys, so a lot of you have watched the previous tutorial on how to create your Facebook shop from scratch. So if you watch that, you're more than welcome to skip to this time right here to get into the payment integration. But for those of you that are brand new to the channel and brand new to this tutorial, I'll invite you to stick around because I'll walk you through step by step how to create your Facebook shop, how to integrate it with your business page. And then from there, we'll jump into um, how to integrate Facebook payments without taking people to a third party tool. So let's dive right into it. The only thing that you need to be able to accomplish this step is you need a Facebook business page or a Facebook fan page, whatever you want to call it. So I created one from scratch today just to be able to help you guys out because I did get a lot of messages, a lot of comments from you guys asking about, hey, how are we if we don't have a third party tool, how are we able to process payments? What about us non US residents? And full disclaimer, I'm not an attorney. I'm not a I'm not a CPA. I'm not an accountant. Uh, I would advise for those of you guys that are non US residents to use legal zoom to be able to get a tax ID for um, for us to be able to start the business in us because in order to process payments on the Facebook platform, without third party tools. So if you have a Shopify store, or if you have some sort of uh, WooCommerce platform, or click funnels, and you are adding upsells and downsells on those pages, you are fine. But if you don't have one of those third party tools, and if you want to process payments on the Facebook platform, and you're not a US resident, I would advise you to go to legal zoom, or just start by googling how to get a tax ID for a non US citizen, because you are able to get a tax ID. And once you get a tax ID, you are able to get a bank account, a US bank account, regardless of where you live in the world. So it doesn't matter where you are, you can have a tax ID in US, you don't have to be physically in US, you can own a business in US. I know this is new information for a lot of you. I'm an immigrant here. So I know I went through a couple of these uh, steps uh, and I also have friends that have uh, businesses in US and they live in Romania, they live in uh, Poland, uh, UK, all across the world, right? So now let's go into today's um, training. So as you can see in here, I don't have the shop option, so I have to click settings um, and then I got to go into templates and tabs. And from templates and tabs, you have to basically activate or first add the shop option. And you can see in here, you got live shop and notes, you hit shop. And then make sure you click settings and it's on because if it's off, of course, you won't be able to see it. So you can either save it and then hit page. And now below your uh, profile photo, you should be able to see shop. And you can, as you can see it in here. So see that we got from Facebook, show, uh, showcase your products, make it easy to buy from you, get paid. So let's go. Uh, we're going to have to go to Commerce Manager. That's what it's called. So we go to Commerce Manager. And then once we go in here, we're going to have to link our business accounts, right? So let's set up our business account. So see that it asks you, uh, do you have a bank account in US? So if you don't have a bank account in US, you won't be able to process this, at least at the moment of this recording in 2020, you're not able to uh, do this. So I would click Yes, I do have a bank account in US. I hit next. And now he's asking me what page I want to uh, create this for. So I'm going to uh, use this personal branding funnels, going to hit next. And he's going to ask me what's the uh, account name. So personal branding funnels. I have to create. So I'll just probably link this business account. Hit save. So if you don't have a Facebook business manager, um, you may need to create a Facebook business manager before you do this step, this step, uh, because I've had, uh, you know, <laughs> as you've seen, I've had a couple different business managers already set up. Um, but if you don't have one, it's totally easy to set up. It'll, it'll probably take you under five minutes 
to create a Facebook business manager. Uh, but once you're done with that, uh, and, and it might even ask you to go straight to business manager to create it right there. So second step, we got set up inventory and preferences. So I'm going to hit set preferences. Uh, I'm going to put catalog products. Hit next. I'm going to put standard shipping, even though. So you guys need to understand a few things. Um, this is mainly created for e-commerce products, uh, meaning you have a physical product and you need to ship it, right? Um, Facebook won't take it easily to to create digital products and still charge people people on the platform. Um, you can do that as long as you integrate with a third party tool, you know, like Shopify or WooCommerce or all the others that exist or ClickFunnels if you have a, a funnel itself. However, for this one, I'll show you exactly uh, how to do this. So I'll do free shipping for this, let's assume. Uh, estimate days delivery, uh, minimum one day, maximum, let's say three days or whatever, like you'll put in there whatever <laughs> whatever timing works for you. You hit next. Um, return policy. So again, Facebook literally replaces Shopify, which is awesome. An email address that people can send emails to if they have support questions. So as you can see, boom, what? We are like under 10 minutes and we already linked our business account. We set up our inventory and preferences and now we got to set up payouts. So this one is going to take another maybe maybe 10 minutes altogether. So I'm going to have to blur the address, of course. But essentially, this is the address that you want all your um, mail from, you know, from Facebook or mail from uh, actually customers. So make sure you write the email that you want this information to go to. I'm going to hit next business category. So, you know, just select whatever it is. If it's accounting, advertising, blah, blah, blah. Um, shops, restorations, whatever. I'll just name it advertising services. Hit next. Uh, I don't have my state tax registration number handy, uh, but you can essentially skip it for now. Again, it even says in here, this is not your SSN, social security number or EIN, uh, employer identification number, your tax ID number, basically, right? State tax registration number, it's your LLC number. When you create an LLC in the state that you live in and the state that your business operates in, that is the uh, state tax registration number that you want to add in here. I'm going to hit skip for now. And now we get to tax and representation. So what type of business this is, uh, I'm going to say it's a sole prop. Um, representative's first name, last name, tax ID number. Again, for those of you that do have a social security number and you live in U.S., you can put that or you can add your tax ID number um, when you create it when you create it after right now again you can still like you have your social security number you can still go to irs.gov and apply for a tax id number it's literally it's probably taking you 10 15 minutes top to do that and then at that point you don't need to use your social for that matter put a date of birth and now you have to use a valid uh, u.s bank account all right, once you put your bank information in here, you can click finish setup. And boom, we've completed the setup. So now we have to go to commerce manager. And this is essentially where you add your products and, and you tell Facebook that, and this is a behind the scenes um, or the back end <laughs> of, of your commerce account. So right, like if you guys um, have any Shopify stores or you've seen one, right? Like you see the activities, like how many um, products are being shipped, how many return requests, open disputes, all that good stuff, fulfillment location, if, if that's what you do. But right now, you know, you're almost ready to start selling. So I'm going to set up the first product. And again, uh, in the previous tutorial, we set up, we added products 
uh, on the front end on the back end now it's a little bit different so bear with me i'm gonna do it with you step by step so we're gonna add products add manually and as you can see in here what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna add a, a test product right but if you are doing it for your e-commerce products make sure you're actually adding the valid you know the valid um picture of the product so i'm going to do a client acquisition workbook I'm just going to copy and paste this i'm going to add an image that i already created in canva you can also add the photos here i'm going to do the regular price 29 and the discounted price seven bucks inventory you need to make sure it's super important guys um if you do it if you don't do the inventory in here like how many products you have available it will not work you will not activate the account um return policy days you know if you want you can add in here but i leave it like this and then just hit add product let's see if it works with the screenshot uh, oh condition so it's new, you know, if you want to sell, you can literally sell um, used products on Facebook and it works the same. And that's pretty much what it is. I may need to add another photo, like I said, so I'm going to have to add one in here. It's not a, you know, <laughs> it's not a photo that I want, but bear with me. This is actually uh, the same way that you would do it. Just make sure you add a photo that is 600 by 600 pixels, right? And if you don't know how to create one of those, you come to Canva, come here into home, and then you create a design and you can say custom dimensions, right? 600 by 600, create design. And Canva would actually give you a ton of different um, logos, images, you know, for free. And you can just do this um, right here on the platform. All right, so we're now gonna hit next again or add product and it's probably going to take a few seconds to approve it however uh, i anticipate that they'll decline it because this is essentially uh, this is not the valid photo so keep that in mind if you do it and if you just add a test product it will pretty much turn red in here in probably a couple minutes however one thing that you want to um, keep in mind when you go back to the uh when you go back to the actual page to see the actual product like in real life let's go to the page itself and if we go to shop and somebody was asking is this are these products available on mobile yes they are so you have to go from your facebook regular profile just type in the business page you go to the business page and you'll be able to see uh even from mobile now from a business standpoint if you are the person that manages this like if i would log in on my facebook page um app and try to edit the product from mobile it would not work you have to be on desktop to be able to do it and guys i know some of you have asked if we can do a setup on instagram shopping once you have integrated your shop on facebook this is literally what you're gonna see you'll see the exact uh, message that i see in here set up instagram shopping so you can literally just click on this and facebook is going to give you the option to integrate your facebook business um, your facebook business account and what you're going to have to do is you're going to request again you submit the application for instagram that doesn't mean that they'll approve it right away so you have to wait probably a couple a uh, couple minutes or sometimes a couple of days it even says in here that you may need a couple of days to uh, to do it so you're not able to do it yet when they if they approve it we'll do the tutorial um, on doing this as well but again it's right here it only works once you integrate your actual um facebook shop and like i showed you in here it's literally super easy to uh to do this and again you can click on view shop to see how it looks also from um from the front end 
and oh, actually they even they didn't decline it yet so that's good news but by the way guys let me know in the comments hit the like button and let me know if you like this video and if you like this type of tutorials what i show you step by step exactly what to do and how to do it and let me know if you've had success with this if you've integrated and if you worked and i mean it definitely works unless you are outside of us and you don't have a third party tool integration but don't go anywhere because right here on my right i put a tutorial on how to get your first 5000 real fans on your facebook business page and believe me they're not bots they're real real fans so don't go anywhere start watching the next video coming up and i'll see you there